the new Superior Death Star. Soon it will be complete. With its destructive power at our command, we shall crush the rebels once and for all. Meh. Meh? Meh! Don't get me wrong, Lord Vader. I'm all for ruling the galaxy. That's my thing. But you remember what happened to the first Death Star? <clears throat> yes. I was there. Oh, right. You were. Let's go to the replay. Is this really necessary? I have you now. What? You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> oh, gets me every time. <laughs> Nobody could have anticipated that. Perhaps you can see why I might want a plan B, Vader. Dooku always had a plan B. How's that? Nothing. Continue. Impress me. He's not going to impress me. Master, we recently uncovered something of interest in the Jedi archives. The Kyber Saber. Ooh, Emperor Likey. What's it do? Don't care. I want it. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give One small problem. Ah, uh, here it comes. We don't exactly know where it is. Uh, but our forces are scouring the galaxy. The Kyber Saber will be found. It better be, Lord Vader. And soon. Marquez foils in attack position. Focus all fire on that Imperial Assault Carrier! I've got one on my tail. I can't shake him. One less rebel. Oh, thanks, Wedge. Salvage. What do we got? Some energy collection coils, ion jets. Ready with the scoop and ready on the cannon. No, Rowan, no cannon. Let them shoot at each other. We don't want them shooting at us. Aww. I still think this is a bad idea, Cordy. Salvaging in the middle of a battle? It's a great idea, Xander. A battle is the best place to find fresh parts. And we need parts if we're gonna pay Furlack. Ooh, s -foils. Besides, those fighters are too busy blowing each other up to notice little old us anyway. The Imperial defenses are too tight! Retreat! The rebels are breaking off the attack. Stay in pursuit. Ah, uh, missed the power converters! Blast! Blast? Oh, no! Oops. Think they'll notice? Great shot! Who did that? Not me, boss. Me neither. Then who was it? Over there! They're noticing! Time to go! Sorry about that, guys. Hey, forget it, Rowan. Salvaging in the middle of a battle was a bad idea anyway. Uh, I said that. Did you? <sighs> the wheel. Home sweet home. Hold on! A block droid! Furlac! That scum weasel! Hello, Freemakers! Hello, Furlac. I warned you. Pay your rent or I'll lock you out. We just picked up some top-class salvage, Furlac. But we can't sell it without a shop. Oh, Cordy. You know my character flaw. I'm too generous. Fine. I give you one extra day to pay me. Before I throw you all out gear lock. Okay, 
but how are we gonna make the rent in one day? We've got no ships to repair and no ships ready to sell. So we'll make a ship. Got an X-Wing turbo impeller. Here's a tie power coupling. Here's a helmet. <sighs> Rebel scum. Ah! Imperial swine. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> no fighting in our shop. But we're fighter pilots. You know what? Take your galactic conflict outside. Stop it. You knock it off. Guys, I'm feeling some inspiration. Stand back. Let me make sure your inspiration can actually fly. Can I help? Ah, uh, Rowan, building requires focusing. I mean, you're many things. A handsome kid, a decent singer, and an excellent little brother. But you're definitely not focused. Oh, sorry. I'm not... what? Oops. Oops. Again. What else have we got to sell? Isn't that ugly almost finished? <gasps> Do not call my creations, my life's work, my children uglies. They are sea wings. Shh, she didn't mean it, baby. And yes, all she needs is a thrust vector magnet. You get one of those, she'll fly. Weren't those mostly a Clone Wars thing? Yep. Roger! Roger! What? I'm baking sweet sand cookies. Where was the worst battle you ever saw in the Clone Wars? Oh. Now k pac no question. That's great! We'll find the part we need there. Wait, what? My cookies! I'm sure they're delicious, but we've got to go. We'll be back soon. Go nowhere, touch nothing, and talk to no one with eight or more eyes. But I wanted to go exploring! You can! from inside the Star Scavenger. Look, as your big sister, I just have to keep you safe, okay? And besides, you're way over your oops limit for the day. There's a limit? Roger, don't let him out of your sight. Roger, Roger. <sighs> they treat me like a kid. Imagine how I feel. Decorated veteran of the Clone Wars, demoted to babysitter. Okay, I wasn't decorated, but still. There's somebody out there. Stormtroopers? Those guys could be trouble. We should probably warn your siblings. Right, Rowan? Rowan? Hey, I'm supposed to watch you. Fine, watch me run. Xander, Cordy, oh, where are you guys? Find anything? Bugs, bugs, some trees, bugs. Uh, the boss won't be happy. Where'd they go? Uh, uh, slow down. My circuits are overheating. Do you hear that? Hear what? The sound of bad decisions being made? Yeah, it's very loud. It's not a sound. More of a pull. Uh, the ship's back that way. Oh. Whoa! Uh, it's calling me. What is? I'm not hearing anything. And not to brag, but I've got excellent audio sensors. Wow! New coat of paint and I'll be fine. Thanks for your concern. Rowan, you're behaving very strangely, even for you. Wow! I have a bad feeling about this. this thing? No idea. But we should put it back and run to the ship before something really bad... <gasps> yeah, okay. Not even gonna finish that thought.
okay, young one? Whoa! Is that a laser sword? I've never seen one. Can I hold it? I'd like to hold it. When can I hold it? It's called a lightsaber. And maybe after I know your name. Oh, hi. Sorry. I'm Rowan Freemaker, and this is Roger. My name is Nare. Quick question. Are you a Jedi? One of the few left. Thought so. <laughs> Jedi! <laughs> Jedi and battle droids weren't exactly friends during the Clone Wars. No, we were not. What's a Jedi? Many years ago, the Jedi were the galaxy's guardians of peace. Can I hold your lightsaber now? <laughs> Patience. First, tell me, how did you find this? Well, you're going to call me crazy. Crazy? But it called to me. I don't even know what it is. Do you? Why, yes, I do. <laughs> Rusted. Like all the garbage on this planet. And we're running out of time. What about that troop transport? That thing looks almost new. Might be our lucky day. Uh, Keep uh, pulling! Uh, almost got it! Uh, Good condition? No rust. Hard to believe this is old enough to have been in the Clone Wars. It's not. Oh, hey guys, is this yours? I'm, I'm, I'm just holding it. You, you, can, you can have it back. Millennia ago, before even the Old Republic, there was a wise Jedi, Master Baird Cantu. Master Cantu wanted to create a weapon worthy of the Jedi. Using a skill known only to him, he forged kyber crystals into one solid blade. This was the very first lightsaber. On your feet, thief. Is there a problem here, Trooper? Let me answer that for you. There is, and his name is you. Imperial Inspector OU812, answer this. How is it that two civilians dressed like us were able to wander right in the middle of your operation and swipe a part off your own transport? What's wrong with how we're dressed? Oh, I'm gonna need operating numbers from each and every one of you. The Emperor is going to be very disappointed. License junk collector. I know, they won't let you retake the picture. Oh. Run, Xander! Oh. Running's a good plan. The Kyber Saber was an impressive weapon. It magnified Cantu's powers a thousandfold. potential danger of the Kyber Saber, he smashed his blade to pieces. He gave the Kyber Saber crystals to trusted Jedi Knights to hide in distant corners of the galaxy so that no one would ever again possess the power of the Kyber Saber. Yeah, I'm Master Cantu, Jedi Knight. You're not listening. Yeah, that's a problem with him. But hey, watch it. Sorry, go on. Rowan, there is danger. Emperor Palpatine has learned of the Kyber Saber. He may seem kind, benevolent, and wise. Actually, he seems creepy, clammy, and his teeth are all weird. Oh, okay. Yes, but worse, he's evil. Evil? Really? Yes, consumed by the dark side of the Force. He will stop at nothing until he possesses the Kyber Saber. That's what those stormtroopers were looking for. This. <gasps> the stormtroopers! I forgot all about them! Run! Wait! Come back! See? Not a strong listener. <sighs> They've got my brother and sister. In the clutches of the Empire. They'll be sent to the spice mines of Kessel. Or worse, they could be melted into slag, 
fed to a sarlacc? Forced to clip the Emperor's toenails? Should I activate silent mode now? Roger, roger. I gotta save Cordy and Xander! Rowan, helping the innocent is what Jedi do. Let me help you. Um, okay. First, you'll need a better weapon. <gasps> Your lightsaber? No. Blast! Hey, what about that thing? Look, honestly, this is one big misunderstanding. We had no idea you guys were here. No idea. No idea we were wandering into your Imperial operation. No idea. No idea this was Imperial property. No idea at all. But since we are taxpaying Imperial citizens, in a sense, that really was our property. Am I right? No idea what she's talking about. Zip it. Tell us what you know about the Kyber Saber. What's a Kyber Saber? Enthusiasm. Oh. Aw, I was just getting good. I think so. But two questions. One, why aren't you in the Star Scavenger? And two... Who is that? One, I just saved you. You're welcome. And two, this is Nare. She's a Jedi! <laughs> Weren't all the Jedi wiped out? Uh, they will be if we don't leave now. The Stormtroopers will return soon and in greater numbers. Well, the lady is more than welcome to ride in our ship. A kind invitation, but I have my own vessel. A beautiful ship for a beautiful lady. Just fly. So no one would ever again possess the power of the Kyber Saber. Wow, nice story. Wonderfully told. But. Is it really a good idea to go looking for these Kyber Saber crystals? I mean, that Jedi guy hid them for a reason. The Emperor has limitless resources. Sooner or later, he will find them. Then, with the Kyber Saber in hand... He'll be invincible. Fortunately, the Emperor lacks Rowan's unique ability to sense the crystals. That is our advantage. <laughs> I will train you to focus your powers, to master the Force, then you can lead us to the crystals, and together we can bring true peace to the galaxy. That was a lot of words, and my mind wandered in the middle. But I think you're saying, I'm going to be a Jedi and have a lightsaber like you. Yes, someday. Oh, please. Look, lady, thank you for saving us. But I don't need you filling my brother's heads with all these dangerous ideas. You're right. Don't tell me I'm... Wait, what? I'm right? These are dangerous ideas and dangerous times. I will stay close to ensure Rowan's safety. Time's up, Freemakers! Furlek, please, just give us a couple hours to sell this ugly. Z-Wing! And then we uh, can... Ah, uh, no rent, you're out the airlock. The Freemakers have paid their rent in full. The Freemakers have paid their rent in full. And I will rent the shop across the way for one credit. And you will rent the shop across the way for one credit. The Force can have a powerful effect on the weak-minded. 
The Force can have a powerful effect on the weak mind. <sighs> Stop it! Sorry about Cordy. She's just crazy protective. Or maybe just crazy. She should be protective, Rowan. If the Emperor were to learn of your connection to the Kyber Saber Crystals... That would be bad. You may not know who you can trust. Share your secret with no one. Uh... You better guard this, then. I will protect it with my life. Now go get some rest. Tomorrow we set out to save the galaxy. When do I get a lightsaber? <laughs> go. Wow. <laughs> Agent Nare, explain your actions on now k -Pok. Oh, is she there? I want to talk to her. I'm handling it, Master. Yeah, like you handled the Death Star? Nare, why did we give you a garrison of perfectly good stormtroopers if you're just going to cut them to shreds? Because, my lord, I needed to gain the trust of a boy who can lead me to the Kyber Saber Crystals. What makes you believe this boy possesses such a power? This. It called to him. Ooh, Emperor Likey. Good work, Nare. Yes, impressive. But what if you lose this boy's trust? Then I'll use another form of persuasion.